Hi, my name is Ulrike Williamson, and I am a senior systems engineer at uh, NASA, working on a servicing project called OSAM-1 now. And uh, it's a servicing mission, which is going to uh, refuel a satellite and um, do some manufacturing in space. Uh, I'm originally from Sweden, and I came to United States through um, working at in a jet propulsion laboratory as a as a summer in a summer job, and um, then I ended up staying and working at NASA and different satellite companies in my life, and uh, this is where I ended up. I was always interested in math and physics when I was going to school, and I really liked that. So I know I wanted to work in that area. And uh, when I came to uh, high school, I had a physics teacher who introduced me to the engineering school and uh, suggested that I was going to apply to go into the engineering school. And that's how I ended up there. Well, like I just said, I had a physics teacher that was helping me to get get there and gave me the idea of applying. I got into the Chalmers Technical University in Gothenburg, Sweden, and I started the, um, the, in the electrical department. So sometimes it was very hard, but it was something I wanted to do. So I continued through. Um, we were very few girls in those days. So for you uh, girls that's looking forward to doing something similar, it's a lot more girls in that field today than it was when I was there. We were about 2% girls. And, um, but I got a master's in electrical engineering and um, that's was taking me here to NASA. Leadership, um, I would say that is an, a good leader is someone that encourages you to be, um, to think on your own and to encourage your own advancements and ideas and allow you to explore your knowledge and expand your knowledge in the areas that you like and that you want to go further in. Because I believe if you like what you're studying, then you will do good with it. And uh, if you have ideas when you're working, I think that the leader should allow you to explore those those ideas. Well, I come from Sweden and uh, everyone can apply to any schools in Sweden as they are uh, free, which they may not be in in a lot of schools, in a lot of countries, but uh, as long as you can get into the school and have the the knowledge, you, you can continue. And it, it's in Sweden, it's very equal. So girls, is, of course, uh, nowadays very much encouraged to go into STEM uh, areas to science. And and um, my school that I went to has a lot of international students now. So for you girls that listen to this and see this, you can go online and you can look into Chalmers Technical University in Gothenburg, Sweden, and you can apply and they take in a lot of uh, students from different countries nowadays. I think there's a lot of different uh, international type of professions that you can get if you have STEM as a background. It can be uh, can lead to a lot of different areas, as far as I can see. Uh, when I studied electrical engineering, I did 
didn't realize that I was going to end up in the space business, for example. And I could have applied to be an astronaut if I had wanted, or I could have uh, done a lot of other things. If you prefer to be in an area where you build houses and bridges and things like that, you can do that all over the world. So I think there's a lot of different areas that you can go into uh, with that as a background.